Guy Bear Entertainment. Grizzly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Come on, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. We'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. 
So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Alright, now that the intro cutscene is over, welcome to Resident Evil 4. This game is one of, if not my all-time favorite game, and I've probably beaten this game two dozen times. But that was back on PS2, and this is the PS4 remaster. I was gonna do this game a few weeks ago on PC, but the PC port blows. Like, the controls are horrible, the scaling's weird, and it just kinda sucks. So I saw this for PS4, grabbed it, and here we are. Let's have a little fun. <coughs> Excuse me, sir? And Leon, you get what you deserve here. Y you can't just go barging into people's homes. I don't care if they're infected or you're looking for someone. Just because the front door's open doesn't mean you can just come strolling in and walking up to a dude by the fire. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! <sighs> Sorry to have bothered you. He doesn't sound amused. Freeze. I said freeze. first little bit of this game, I'm not going to be super talkative, because I am incredibly tired. It's about 1.30 in the morning, and I've been up since a little after 8 this morning, and it's just been a rough day. Is everything okay? But I need to get a little recording done tonight. No choice so, but to neutralize it. There's still are. others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. And I was just authorized to kill everything in my path. That's a lot of skulls. Who needs that many skulls? I don't know. To me, one of the best things about this game is that you can't move and shoot, which means every decision you make is super important. Ow. Was a little sloppy. I probably could have beaten them without taking any damage, but I didn't. So whatever. This box doesn't have anything for me. Awesome. Let's see. How are we doing on supplies? Still got plenty of handgun ammo and a first aid spray. So I think we're alright. We did that in what? Five bullets total? Too bad at all. And part of the reason I'm recording this today, even though I'm absolutely exhausted, and you'll see this save file in front of us there, I started recording this last night, and OBS fucked everything up in such a way that 
all of my work last night was for naught. I had played all the way through well past the village. But such is how it goes. The one nice thing is I'm a little bit more re-familiar with the controls, so I shouldn't look as quite as much as me at this run. sensitivity is a little bit lower than it was back on the PS2. But I could be talking out of my ass. the village, I have pretty much an unlimited supply of him. You got ammo for a while. Because hoarding ammo makes this game infinitely easier. Sadler ain't gonna save your ass now. Alright, got 37 handgun rounds to go into the village. That is... Not what I'd consider enough. But, it'll do. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Alright, I don't really care about the playing manual. I've known these controls for literal years. I thought about just recording the PS2 version, but... I lost the breakout cable for my Elgato, and I didn't feel like pulling any of the other bullshit I would have had to do to get it to work, so I decided it's worth spending the extra 20 bucks again to provide a much better experience for all of them.
isn't going well. This isn't going well at all. Wrong. That was not a relatively safe place. 